world. I'm back. I am doing Coral Seas 4, losing track of all time. So I'm just mixing some blues here together for the background. Um, I'm using all sorts of different colours today. Um, and, and I can tell you right from the start that this painting was not a success. But I don't know, when I put it on my little picture shelf, it, it certainly stands out. So I'm just going to go with it anyway. Um, so these are my three blues for my background. It's indico. Um, and that one there is 357, I think. Um, PBO, kind of like a iridescent blue. Um, I'm just mixing the indigo and the brighter blue together. And I, I have in my mind a, a kind of a curved background, which is soon went out of the window. So I'm just laying my colours down here from dark at the bottom um, through to, to light at the top. And again, take your time doing your backgrounds. There's absolutely no rush until excess paint off. So it kind of that gives me some shapes to work with when I put my my colours down. It's it's strange when you do a voiceover because you can you just can instantly see the mistakes that you made. And and one of the mistakes that I made is I just put far too much paint down, far too much colour down. I, I'm all about being minimalist simple but <laughs> with all the best will in the world i kind of went mad on color i think it's because i had lots of color left over um especially this green bright yellow green i'm thinking about it you see and i i go in again So the idea is to have kind of like an underwater coral uh, theme going on using colours and deep blues of the ocean and oranges, greens and yellows of the coral. And I want to use a chain pull again. So I'm still perfecting the chain pull technique, but we'll get to that a bit later. 24k gold, you've got to have a little bit in there. But just use it so sparingly. And I've got three different oranges. And one of the oranges I've got is fluorescent orange. I've, I've just... that's don't think that's the fluorescent orange. Um, it's one of the PBO ones. Three different shades of oranges. Because I just want some depth. That's a golden orange. It's just beautiful. You can you can just tell the colours are so saturated, they're fantastic. And this is the fluorescent going in at the top, but at the end of you don't really see any of it anyway. So I just tilt some of that paint off. So I start swiping with some kitchen roll and my um, cell activator here is Aussie Flow Troll mixed with um, Amsterdam Black, Oxide Black. And I just go backwards and forwards. I I kind of see my um, little bit of kitchen roll as a paintbrush really. I really use it, I bring some of the other colours in. I don't always dip it in the same colour. I sometimes will pick up other colours um, just to create a little bit more interest. So I'm, I'm not swiping with the same colour all of the time. And I don't actually want those, that lacing and cells all over my painting. But I do go a bit mad. 
and having a small point it just allows you to start your swipe at various points of your painting you don't have to swipe um, from edge to edge from top to bottom from middle to bottom from middle to top you know you look how lovely that is there it's really nice So because this is quite a long video, I'm, I'm going to leave the voice over there and just put some music in and speed, speed it up a bit because otherwise it's going to be about 15 minutes long and we don't want that. Okay, so this was some time later and you can see I've done quite a lot of swiping through that green. Um, my daughter came in and I had to say goodbye to her because she's going back to uni and I forgot to turn the camera back on. So I didn't like the big band of green that was going, yellow green that was going through the centre and I, I, I just, as a last resort, I swiped over the whole thing. I wish I never did. So the chain pulls. This was over half an hour later I came back to this painting to do this. Um, otherwise you'll just completely lose your definition and actually try and push it a little bit longer. And I don't always dip my chain in paint, sometimes I just use the, the chain. I'm just dipping it in paint, taking some of the excess off. And the trick is with a chain pull, if you haven't done one before, don't let the paint that you're swiping away spill over the chain. And, and you'll know exactly what I mean when you, when you do it, when you come to do it. And I'm just trying to create those, I don't even know what they're called, the coral, the orange coral. So I do, I do just keep going until I'm happy with it actually. point just to uh, just do things to see what happens I'm not you know this isn't what I had in my mind but then when is it ever in fluid art so I'm just picking up that blue from underneath and the, the colors do begin to muddy but I'm okay with that actually 
because in my head I, I'm going to bring some of that really bright orange back in at the top with the chain pulls and that's the beauty of the chain pulls is you, you can keep adding colour I can keep adding colour to that background and I'm just trying to break up that lacing across the, uh, the middle there it's too busy for me too busy This is where I'm going in with some of the, of the bright um, that orange from Golden. And you can see how vivid it is. And it's really lovely how it picks the blue up from the background in the centre of the chain pull. I'm beginning to like just change direction of how I put the chain down um, as to which way the little coral pieces, the little shapes go up or down. And it's quite addictive doing this <laughs> and it is very difficult to know when to stop. So I really wasn't sure about this painting and I actually took it out in the sunlight and as soon as the sun hit it, the covers, they're amazing. It just really stands out on a white wall. I have a little picture shelf on a white wall and the sun hit it through the window. It was beautiful. The colours really stand out. I don't think it's my finest work. But then you've got to do these paintings and then you move on and you refine it next time. But I'm pleased that the chain pulls held their shape. <laughs> 